Excuse me. I'm sorry. Alright, I want to thank the jury, the court, everybody that's been involved in this case. It's been a long couple of year battle for uh, Travis. We're just grateful to everybody that he had his life back in. He uh, came out. We knew he wasn't guilty. He's one of the nicest human beings you ever met. You know, whether he plays sports or not, he's a true man and did what he had to do. Any questions? Feel free to ask. Them. Travis, what does this verdict mean to you? It means everything, man. I finally got my freedom back and to get back to my life, man. I just want to thank the jurors, thank the court, thank everyone that was involved in this, man, because it means a lot for the support with everyone. What do you think of the fact that they came back with a verdict in just, uh, what, three or four hours? I mean, I just, I just felt like it was right. You know what I'm saying? I knew from all along, you know what I'm saying, that I, you know, I did what I did had to do to just protect me and my mother's life. So. Also, before I interrupt you, I just want to tell you it's been a team effort with Ms. Perlette, who couldn't be here today. And also, this is Ralph Marston. He's a private investigator, former law enforcement officer in Marine. And, and Ralph uh, is behind the scenes in many cases, and without him, we couldn't have done this. This has been a momentous day for you. What's next for you in your life, Travis? Uh, what's next? Definitely going to celebrate with my family, uh, get back to trying to play football and everything. And just a walking testimony of that, you know, without these two guys, Heidi, my team, my foundation. I, I want to be here today. Travis, you're smiling big right now. Now that you're officially acquitted, can you walk us through what the past two years were like knowing that you didn't do anything wrong? Oh, man, it's just a lot of tears were shed, man. Overwhelming tears, you know what I'm saying? Long nights, sleepless nights, everything. So that's what the last two years have been for me. Do you feel like you want to pursue a case against any of the other players that play? in what happened two more years ago. Well, I'm not going to let Travis answer that at this point. He's just going to enjoy his freedom now, and uh, we'll look at all options later on. What does this mean for your football career? What are your plans there? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to my agent, and um, God's willing, I'll, I'll still be able to play football. So definitely plan on getting back to football. CFL or NFL? Or yeah, in, anyone. Just an opportunity. I love the game. So You're not out of your prime yet, huh? No. Still, I'm just actually re reaching my prime. Were you, were you nervous when we didn't know what was going to happen here? I know you and your family were out in the hallway praying. Could you tell us why that was an important thing for you? Of course. I mean, it's just the, the, the fact of not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, your life is in 12 jurors' hands. That, that's a scary feeling. So, I definitely was nervous. And, um, you know, we definitely pray a lot. We, we have our way around faith. So Tra Tra I'm sorry. Well. Travis had faith from day one. He never, even the day he was arrested, he told me how innocent he was and how he didn't do anything on purpose. And he's never varied from his story. He's the first client in 35 years who had the exact same version from day one till, till he testified. And he's been totally confident, more than any of us actually, that the truth was going to come out and his belief in God helped him get through this. You Mark, while your you're mom, here, your, dad, your mom, your brother, so many of your loved ones are out here. Tell us about their support right now and how you feel. Uh, it's a lot of support. Man. I love my mom. I'm a mama's boy. I know. She can finally probably sleep more, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Mostly thank That's God for my brother, man. He's a hero as well. It's not just me. Mom, how do you feel? You want you have a few words, Mom? Thank you, God. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mr. Help. And I love you. What would you say to the jury? Is there anything you want to say to the jury? I really appreciate the jury. They made the right decision. God bless them all. I appreciate them for taking out the time to actually listen to the truth or not. Uh, what does a uh, not guilty verdict on not one but all four counts mean? What kind of message does that send, Mark? Well, you know, life, we're all human. We all make mistakes. I was tough on the lead officer. It's nothing personal. Um, she really did arrest this man without the right information. And we hope it's a learning experience. That's what life's about. And hopefully uh, she gets her uh, cases done differently next time and she learns some from this and the sheriff learns from this. Because there's many mistakes made. And if those mistakes weren't made and this case was done properly, we may not be here. But we are here. So let's take this as a learning experience, and uh, we have no hard feelings towards anyone, and we wish everyone the best, and everyone lost in this case. No matter what the verdict is, we're all losers as a community. Uh, but we're happy that the truth came out. How has Travis lost in this case? He lost two years of his life. Two years of playing football, two years of uh, roaming free, two years of hugging his family, two years of having a possible life sentence hanging over his head, uh, having to pay for lawyers, having to suffer 
uh, sleepless nights and, and worrying about this case. Uh, he's lost immensely that he'll never get back, but at least he can start his life over. Today he's being reborn. Is there a message you'd like to give to the other families, the other parties that are involved in this case? Well, everyone should be responsible for their own actions. Right or wrong, we should all be responsible for what we do. And the jury spoke loud and clear that these men are responsible for the death of their friend. And maybe the state attorney's office will look a little differently next time, or even now at this case, as to who the real perpetrators were. Um, but we Any can't change that. to the John Jock family? Well, I'm sorry for their loss, obviously. It's sad that anyone died, but responsibility is the most important thing. And that's why I've been doing this on both sides for so long as a prosecutor and as a defense lawyer, because I believe in responsibility and the truth. And the truth came out today. This, this verdict was unanimous, right? They had to all 12 agree on the same thing? All agreed, yes, sir. And he could, have, could he have faced multiple life sentences or one life sentence? Oh, he was facing by every... First-degree murder was life in prison without parole. The attempted murders were a minimum of 25 years to life. So he would have died in prison. The opposite verdict, you would not ever see this man again, a free man. This verdict, he's now a free man. So you could have potentially gotten four life sentences. Basically, yes, sir. Okay? Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that. Thank you. Thank you. I got to run back up. You got to go up? imaginary pass and you running for freedom now. Hey, 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 don't look hey, back. Hey, run, hey, run. Hey, run. Hey, make sure you call Ken and let him know I'm ready, baby. All right. Okay. You're welcome. My pleasure. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Free, nigga! Free! Free! Oh, you good, you good? Alright, that's all. Crap. That's alright. They take him on the 